Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is Z here at Pink Aura Tarot. Thank you guys for subscribing and supporting the channel. I want to make my intros like really short and just like to the point because um, I stopped editing my videos. I used to have an intro, but it's like it just takes too long to like for it to download and all that. So yeah, I'm trying to keep my intro short. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, just check the description box for the info. For all of my info, even social media, you can follow me on there. Um, I post additional messages. Um for the collective on there too and also two for each sign so yeah follow me on there if you want this is going to be for aries um sun moon rising and venus keep in mind that this is very general you know it may or may not resonate with you but feel free to come back to another reading you know hopefully that message will be for you so let's see aries what's the overall energy for aries for october 2020 Okay, one card out. Okay, we got the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands came out as the overall energy. So this could be like a new beginning for you guys. I feel like a lot of excitement. Like you could be in this type of period here with the, uh, the Nine of Swords. Like you could be worried about something. Experiencing a lot of anxiety here. You know what? For some of you guys, this is what I just got um, with this Nine of Swords and we got the Ten of Cups. I feel like for some of you guys, you're worried about your happiness or like, you could be worried about how things are going to play out. It's like somebody could be um, wondering like, are they ever going to find, like, not saying that you want to find like another person to make you happy, but it's just like, you're worried about something in regards to like your own happiness so let's see i feel like for some guys you could be needing excitement or it's like some type of excitement is coming towards you with this ace of wands being the overall energy so let's see what's going on Okay, let's see. Why is this Ace of Wands here for Aries? Ooh, okay. So we got a page of cups that came in. Somebody's getting some sort of like news or some type of message here. This could be something that you are worried about. So it could have been a communication from somebody here. It could be coming. There's, there could be some type of love offer here. A romantic gesture from somebody coming here um well happening in october it doesn't have to happen in october this could have already happened as well why is this ace of wands here for um aries why is this ace of wands here for aries Ooh. Okay, now, okay, so <laughs> this is too funny. Okay, so we got the page of swords here. So, Aries, I feel like for some of you, either you or another person, somebody's watching somebody here and they're making plans here to come forward or to communicate. Because this page of swords came out and the two of wands, but this two of wands is, um, is like Aries energy too. So, this could be you planning on um making plans or or the other person but i'm seeing two people here <clears throat> why is this ace of wands here for aries Oh, we got the four, of, the four of swords here. Either you or another person. It's about to get kind of dark. The light is going out. But, um, or it's like dimming down. But we got this four of swords here. Either you or another person. It's like you could have been taking a break or just like, um, 
Yeah, you and another person could have been taking a break. But we got an offer coming in here with this Knight of Pentacles. Hopefully the light comes back. Um, but yeah, the Knight of Pentacles right here. This is like some type of offer here that's coming towards somebody here. It's like after a period of resting. Why is this Ace of Wands here for Aries? Yeah. Yeah, somebody's coming in here because this Knight of Cups is at the bottom of the deck again. And we got the Wheel of Fortune card. So something is about to change or shift. There's been like a, um, a shift here. And I feel like... Um, this offer is coming in. It's like it could have been taking a while too. And this probably why you were having anxiety. Or worried. About this situation. But somebody like one person is trying to figure out. How they can like come forward. Why is this Ace of Wands here for Aries? Yeah, see this seven. Um, somebody's been trying to. Somebody's been contemplating here. Look, this is how it fell out. This seven of cups fell right over top of the um the four of swords. Somebody's been contemplating here, thinking, trying to um figure out how they're gonna move forward with this offer. This knight of cups popped out too. But it's like maybe one person has that guard up. Like they're very hesitant. But I feel like this is the um whoever's coming in with the offer. But it could be your energy too. Tell me about this Ace of Wands for um Aries. Oh yeah. Somebody wants to offer commitment here. This is something like long term too. We got the um the Knight of Pentacles again. This some this is the offer. And we got the um the hot the hair font. Something's about to change here in regards to some type of commitment. But I'm seeing like a new partnership here too. This is like something that you're worried about. What's this page of cups? Okay, that was like one too many cards. Why is the page of cups here? But look, the emperor flipped over. So that's your energy, Aries. Why is the um, page of cups here? Yeah, somebody's taking action here towards a situation. But it's almost like a surprise with the page of cups and the um the magician. This is some type of surprise. But something um, is ending here. Or maybe somebody needed to walk away from a situation. What's the page of swords? We got the queen of pentacles that came out. So somebody could be dealing with an earth sign here. There could be an earth sign like watching. I'm also seeing it too. If you worried about a job situation, like things could have been very like bored and stagnant for you. Like you could have been, um, yeah, just bored. Like things weren't moving along. That's what it seemed like. I'm seeing um, some type of contract here for somebody in regards to like their work or their finances with this um queen of pentacles it's almost like this comes from out of the blue for you areas especially with this ace of wands because it's like you're not expecting this not with the ace of wands being overall energy and then there's not a sword so it's at the bottom of the deck what's the two of wands
What's the two of wands? Yeah, we got the um the Queen of Swords. Somebody could be done with the air sign here. But I feel like whatever this decision is for you, Aries, I feel like this is in um uh, for some people this is involving some type of contract or document. Um, be logical about this decision that you're needing to make. Most definitely. Cause I feel like for some of you guys, it's like you're rebuilding. It's like this ace of wands is being presented to you. And you may like it may um be like a surprise i feel like you could be not really prepared for this i feel like for some people they're like they're about to like rebuild in some way whether it be like a new partnership or some type of work situation but it's like the wheel is shifting in your favor um for october something's definitely gonna change for some people what's the wheel of fortune Yeah, the um, Two of Pentacles came out. For some of you guys, I feel like you're going to be, when it shifts, when the shift comes, like you're going to be able to um, to stop juggling two things for whatever that is for you. Because I feel like for some of you guys, you could be like going back and forth here on two offers. But I feel like you're going to get the clarity or um, make a logical decision about which offer to take. So this could be a love offer or a work partnership too. I mean, um, this could be a work situation or a, um, a love offer. I'm seeing it two ways because we're seeing the Knight of Cups and the, um, the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, the page of um, page of Pentacles just popped out. I didn't really. I was trying to clarify the hair font. But yeah, the page of Pentacles. This is some type of offer. This is like the start of something new. And then look, the Knight of Cups again. So let's pull a oracle card. Give me a card for Aries. Give me a card for Aries for this spread, please. Okay, so we got not for you. Some of you guys could be done with a... Um, some of you guys could have Capricorn in your chart, but it says not for you. One of these, um, for some of you guys, I thought you could have options here. It's like when it's Ace of Wands, like this new energy, um, this new beginning of some sort, I thought it's going to come in through some type of message. It's going to bring in a lot of options. For some of you guys, you're going to have to uh, really like meditate on this situation. One of them is not for you. And then we got exchanging gifts at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to pull one more for you guys. Give me one more for Aries. Um, so we got orphan and in between worlds. Yeah, for some of you guys, you could be between offers. But I feel like you're going to abandon one. You're going to abandon something. Because remember, we seen at Ten of Swords, something like you're ending sub something here that you could be worried about. So whatever you're worried about, I feel like you're needing to like really um, meditate. Take some time out to meditate and really contemplate on this decision. Like make a logical decision. Because something is needing to be like abandoned. Or like end it here. So I'm going to um, end the reading right here. Hopefully it resonated with someone. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.